In this video, we're going to look at how to install Snagit 2020 to a Windows PC. So I've got a basic PC that I'm using, and the reason why you see multiple taskbars is that I'm actually remoting into a computer. Because once I install this, I want to show you how to use it, and thus I actually need to record myself recording myself utilizing the Snagit tool. So let's just start with the basic installation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go out to any browser and I'm going to go to techsmith.com. Now this is a way to get both a trial and then if you've purchased the product this is the way to ensure that you're getting the latest and greatest software. So if you notice here I can come into Snagit and I can download the free trial software. This should be the latest software that's available if Snagit or TechSmith is keeping their website up to date. So all I have to do is click and it'll establish a connection. I can download either the Windows or Mac version. I'm on Windows this time around so I'm going to download the Windows version. As you can see it's starting to download here in the corner. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video until it completes downloading. Once the executable is downloaded, all I have to do is click to open and start the installation. I'm going to go ahead and reduce this browser so that we can see. I'm going to accept and review the license terms. Make sure that you do that accordingly. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit install. From here, I'll choose yes. And the install process will initiate. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again while it completes the install. As soon as the installation is complete, you'll see installation successful and you'll just click continue. Now this is going to open up the first time notice sign in to the trial. Uh, if you need to do that, go ahead and click there. You can start a trial, which is a wonderful way to initiate the software. For me, I actually have my license key, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in and unlock. Now, of course, I've blurred out my license key. Um, I don't need to worry about saving it to my vault because I've installed it according to the license on another machine. So here is the actual dashboard for recording. So if you notice, I can do an all-in-one. I can go ahead and capture a portion of the screen and I can do a short video. I'll show you how to use this in the next video. For now, that's it for the installation. Have a great one. Take care.